Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and in today's lesson, we are going to get our rim in place. So let me lower the camera. We get started. And as you remember, we finished off by putting on a rim row. This was our quarter inch flat. This this was the very top row of weaving. This row is going to get covered now by our rim. The first thing I need to do, other than I've already wet my basket, so that was the first thing I did. My basket is damp and all of my weaving materials have soaked for five minutes. I need to decide now which side of my basket I want to be the front. And really on this pattern, it doesn't matter because uh, both sides are the same. I am going to have the front of my basket being one of the long sides of the basket. So I'll choose this and then my rim is going to, is that I'm using is 3 8 inch flat oval. And I am going to start it and stop it on the sides. I'm going to put the bulk of my rim on each side of my basket rather than in the front or the back. That's just my preference. You can do it however however you choose, but this is my preference. So I'll start on a side and this we're working with really heavy material now and I'm going to hold it in place with my, my extra hands, my clothespins here and I'm putting this rim row so that the, the bottom of my reed is at the bottom of that quarter inch flat. I'll be glad to show you here in just a minute. Now when I get around to where I started, I'm going to overlap it, oh, an inch or an inch and a half. I want to cut it, and I'm going to cut it kind of on the angle. And then I'm going to close pin it in place. And now I use another piece for the outside. I started and stopped my rim on this side of the basket. So now I'm going to start and stop my rim over on this side. I don't want all my thicknesses of overlapping in one spot. Now this 3 8 inch flat oval is certainly a heavier material than what we've been weaving with. So what you might want to do, these are some electrical clamps. They're stronger than clothespins. The only thing though is sometimes they can leave a mark on your reed, but give them a try. Uh, you can buy them places like Radio Shack. There are uh, specialty basket weaving clamps that you can get at your favorite basket weaving supply store as well. But they certainly are tougher than clothespins. And as I get around to the beginning here, see here's where I started, I'm going to overlap it again about an inch, inch and a half. Cut it at an angle and then close pin it in place. Now, you can see though it doesn't look very pretty along the top side of the basket and so we need to hide that. We're going to put a filler in to hide that and what I'm going to use is seagrass. You could use round reed such as a number five, number six round reed. Um, I've seen people use paper twist before, but I'm going to use seagrass. And this is seagrass here. You buy it at your basket weaving supply store. You can buy it by the pound or in, in a one pound coil or even a three pound coil. It will last you a really long time. So this is a one pound coil. And I, I keep it wound up uh, just so it doesn't go flying everywhere. And so we want to start that seagrass. I'm going to start it on the side as well. And we're going to lay it in the channel. 
Now the other thing I want to show you that I like to use are zip ties or these little these little plastic ties. Um, you can get those at the dollar store um, or most um, oh, like Home Depot or Lowe's. They all carry it, but just get the small size. You can insert this under the rim row, which is under your quarter inch flat. Insert it under there and loop it through. And this will certainly hold your rim and that seagrass, your rim filler, in place. That's not going anywhere. And then when we're ready to remove it, we can just cut it. Remember, our rim is just the, the bottom of the rim is at the bottom of that quarter inch flat. It's just hiding it. So let me continue on around. Zip ties are very handy when you're weaving a large basket. They just, they are, they're invaluable then. On a small basket such as this, I typically just use clothespins. Even the big clamps, I'll use those more on large baskets than I will something small like this. Now, when I get around with my seagrass, I'm going to leave, for right now, I'm going to leave about an inch extra. And then as I start to lash on my rim, I'll butt up the, I'll butt up the ends of the seagrass nicely. But for now, there's just a little bit of an overlap. So, this is how we put our rim in place. And in the next lesson, we will start lashing the rim. Please visit my blog if you haven't done so. It's www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com. And have a really good week. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.